Hello everyone, my name is Piotr, uh, I'm from the QuickJet AI team and today uh, I'm going to show you how to create your own conversational AI that can have a conversation about any subject that you like using the knowledge that you provide it with. So first of all, let's have a look at uh, the QuickJet AI Builder tool we're going to be using for it. So uh, let's begin. This is the uh, dashboard of the tool. Uh, this is your starting point and the most important part for now is the knowledge base so here is where we're going to be providing knowledge for our conversational AI, AI to use uh, it's very simple it comes in three parts uh, just the name of the of the chatbot the name of the main subject we're gonna uh, talking uh, talking about then a sentence or two of description and then here is where you can copy and paste all the text knowledge that, knowledge that you have so uh, let's get started. Start, we need to decide what our chatbot is going to be talking about. Obviously here uh, the sky is the limit and the choice is entirely yours. Uh, you can use it for more or less serious purposes like uh, customer support or, informa or information about your product or anything you're interested in. Uh, but for now to make it more fun and, and to maybe uh, showcase a bit more how literally um, you can use it for anything you like. I came across this thing called 5D chess with multiverse time travel, which is uh, some uh, chess variant uh, that includes you know, time travel, creating uh, parallel universes, and it's uh, supposedly very fun, but also very mind-bending. Um, and what we're gonna do is create a, a, a conversational AI that has knowledge of the rules of the game, that understands how it works, and we can kind of share it with our friends or, or have it as a, as a reference to just quickly you know, ask a question of like, how does this piece move or, or whatever. So uh, we're gonna be using this Wikipedia page as our source of information, and we're gonna set up an AI. So let's go. So before we start using the actual Wikipedia information, let's go to uh, settings and go through a couple of points here. So, um, our chatbots can talk in any language that you like. Uh, for now, we're just gonna be using English, but the way it works with other languages is that you still provide all the knowledge in English, but you can choose you know, any language uh, that you like. So it's super fun. So uh, I could create a conversational AI about, about 5D chess, give it uh, knowledge in English, and then just add um, French or Spanish as another language, and uh, then, Within the same chat window, you're gonna be able to talk to it in English or in Spanish, and it's gonna uh, reply in the respective language. So it's super fun. Um, so here's your here's your subscription, and um, what we want to achieve by the end of this call is to use this public URL uh, where our uh, chatbot is hosted uh, to be able to share it with anyone you'd like. So this is what it looks like at the moment. Uh, we can see that it's kind of uh, empty, so uh, we want to format it a bit now. Okay, so let's uh, customize our chat window slightly. So as welcome message, we're going to say, hey, I'm a, a 5D chess expert. As a, as a second welcome message, which is optional, but we can say, ask me about the rules or anything else. Uh, and as a header, we're going to say 5D chess expert. And as, as a secondary header, ask me anything. Just, just to show you how, how these things pop up. And uh, we're going to change the chatbot avatar from the default one to some image that I found on Wikipedia. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so here is the, here's the picture. It's not very beautiful, but it's gonna do for now, let's save it, and we're good to go. So now, now that we made our changes, um, let's refresh this, uh, this chat window we created. So this, this is what it's going to look like when we share it with our friends or, or where. Uh, this is our 5D chess expert. Okay, so now let's actually start giving our AI some knowledge of 5D chess. So a bit of uh, a bit of background here, um, as explained in our knowledge base tab. Already now, before you do any work, our AI has 
conversational skills and already has some general knowledge of, of the world. Uh, but un very unlikely it, it knows a lot about uh, this particular 5D chess game. But uh, if we go into our preview window and ask some something then generic like, hey, how are you doing? Um, it's already gonna respond with something and, and, and you know, you can already have a conversation. But what we're interested here uh, is to actually create something that uses the knowledge that we chose um, as a reference. All right, so let's start with uh, product name 5D chess. Um, some short description. So uh, let's use the Wikipedia page, uh, but make it slightly shorter because here we, we have some restrictions. So this would be a good first sentence. And then let's say um, we take this sentence. So this is going to give us 5D chess with Multimodal Sound Server is a chess variant video game. It allows pieces to travel through time and timelines in a similar way to how they move through ranks and files. Yeah, this is literally what the game is. Now, uh, I think this whole thing, this is the entire Wikipedia article, I think this whole thing will do a good job of expl explaining the rules of how it works. Um, I read it before, I don't understand it, but I think uh, that's all you need to know to actually play the game. Um, now, we pasted it here, but we can see that it's all in red. Why? Because, well, you entered 272 words and maximum number per paragraph or per bullet point is 150. So this makes sense. We will need to do a bit of formatting here. So uh, first off, we want to um, split it in, in bits that are slightly shorter, but also kind of self-contained uh, with a particular uh, bit of information. So so let's, and also we want to remove stuff like stuff like this because we don't need it. Okay, so now I've formatted and split up um, our knowledge into these paragraphs, which aren't that long. Um, so a few things to note here. One is, um, please remember to make sure that uh, the paragraphs are kind of self-contained. So what I, what I mean by that? Um, here in this paragraph, uh, it explains that there are some uh, new pieces like a princess or a dragon, interesting. And then in the next sentence, it refers to like these pieces uh, and so on and so on. So um, let's make sure that like parts like this aren't split into separate paragraphs because because now this this pieces refers to something that is not in this paragraph. So so it's better to uh, keep them together in the same paragraph. Uh, but then some paragraphs, it's okay to make them very um, short if again, they contain some specific self-contained piece of information, like for instance, how bi bishops move, how knights move, how the queen moves, and so on. So now that we've pasted our knowledge base, uh, we want to actually retrain the AI, and we click the button here. Uh, let's wait a second or two. Um, okay, new knowledge base absorbed. Okay, so now uh, we're good to go, and uh, believe, believe it or not, this is actually it. So like now, our AI has this knowledge and we can start chatting to it and see if it can actually use it. Uh, okay, so now now to the to the fun parts. Let's do a little test in our in our preview here. Simple question. Let's say, okay, how does game work? Let's see what it answers. The game is played on a chessboard with a standard six chess pieces, and so on and so on. So so here we've got some. A quick explanation, and then say, let's say, how do bishops work in this game? Um, and again, we're going to get uh, bishops move in any number of spaces in exactly two axes, and so on. And we can also test our chatbot using our public URL. So we could ask a question like, when does the game conclude? Like that would be good to know and the answer it gave us is the game ends in checkmate uh, when any one of players kings and so on so this is pretty much it uh, in this ridiculously short time we managed to create an ai that has a specific knowledge can talk about the particular uh, subject uh, and what we have here is our public url that we can share and anybody can interact with what we've created so that's pretty exciting
Um, another thing to show you is that uh, we have this inbox here where uh, we can watch every conversation unfold live. Uh, we can also choose to pause the chatbot and uh, reply as a human being. Hi, this is the creator. Uh, let's send this message. Um, and we can see that this message pops up here. We're always uh, very explicit about whether uh, your user is talking to an AI or a human being. Um, so that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching the video. And we cannot wait to see uh, how you use the tool. And we're excited to see what you create. Thank you.